the way we are moving forward is going to be an encouragement to each one of the people. Okay. President, sir, in continuation to your guidance, we are very happy that this is the fifth hackathon. That means we have already completed 40 excellent speakers who have been the panelists on different subjects in AI. And these all happen to be mostly chartered accountants. You will be happy to know the videos which are being posted on different platforms by various uh, panelists is actually being appreciated across the length and breadth of the country. Good evening, esteemed colleagues, distinguished guests, and all the brilliant minds gathered here today evening. It is both an honor and privilege to welcome you to AI Hackathon 5, an event that truly epitomizes the pioneering spirit and intellectual curiosity of our profession. Today we gather to celebrate the remarkable intersection of two powerful forces, artificial intelligence and finance. Let's start with a round of applause to our very esteemed president, CA Ranjit Nagarwal, and my fellow council colleagues, CA Dhyaniva Sharma and CA Omej Sharma. Their, their visionary leadership and unwavering support continues to be the backbone of our vibrant society and community of chartered accountants. Let me compliment the this committee leadership. Uh, issued had first time started hackathon. Many people are don't know what is hackathon. So this committee has started the word hackathon under leadership of Dayaliwa Sarma and Umesh Sarma. And this is the fifth one. And thank you very much for making this entire terminology so popular amongst the masses of our CF fraternity. And uh, wherever I am also going, people are interested to join this AI uh, committee of the ICI. So thank you, Raj, uh, Ranjit sir, and thank you, Nanda sir. And uh, Ranjit sir, your vision of AI in ICI, it's the first time you have dreamed and we are following that dream under chairmanship of Daya Neva sir. So thank you, sir. And uh, let's wish that all your dreams get true in this AI in ICI in year 2020-24. Thank you, sir. So let's welcome the another panelist that is Gayatri Praveen. So over to you, Gayatri Praveen. Thank you. Um, I'm just sharing my screen parallelly while I start my presentation. Hope it is visible. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so today I am talking about AI capability in Power BI. So I am just taking a very simple case uh, and not going to any kind of complicated aspects, a very simple use case of uh, AI capabilities in, embedded within Power BI. So first, when I just ask Google, what is Power BI? It gives me all these things. It gives me some fancy jargons like data discovery, collaboration and whatnot. It may look so complicated, but to put it in simple words, what is Power BI? Power BI is a tool which will help you convert data in this format to this format. So from this boring Excel format of black and white numbers, you can have the data put into beautiful charts and statistical analysis. And it's not just the beautification part, it also helps you do a lot of analysis. Now, when I show something like this, although it looks beautiful, many people must be thinking this must involve a lot of technical knowledge. I need to probably learn a lot of Power BI uh, tools and aspects before I'm able to do something like this and get my required output out of Power BI. So today I'm going to talk about small tools in Power BI, which does not require you to do so many things and still you're able to make use of it. You don't have to be an expert in Power BI, but still have a use case scenario where you'll be able to use Power BI. And that is why my topic for today is use of Power BI and its AI capabilities for doing some financial analysis and using the quick insights and the Q&A option embedded within Power BI. Let me show you a simple data that I am considering for this. This is a basic sales data you may find in any small business or anything, and I'm keeping it very simple. The basic things like the order ID, product, location, sales, value, and all that. And then what I do, I am using this and incorporating into a Power BI document. 
So when I put the basic data and give it like a chart, it's giving me this kind of an output, which again looks a little uh, boring or a little not too appealing. Then I use the other av available options and I am able to create something like this. So here you can see it's a very good pictorial representation of the sales. So the first one talks about the country-wise sales. Then you can see it is talking about the product-wise sales. And then you can see it is talking about the month-wise sales. Although this looks beautiful, when I'm going and presenting it to someone, nobody is going to go look deep into this chart, find out what is this product, which product made more profit, which product made less profit. So again, it becomes a task for me to sit and type it and summarize it and present it to uh, maybe a layman or maybe your client, whoever is not too much well-versed into this kind of activity. So to avoid that kind of thing, there is an option in Power BI, which is called a smart narrative. And as the name suggests, it is smart, meaning it has an AI embedded into it. So on this side, you have over here. So when I click on this, something like this appears. Oh, it's just taking a second. So something like this appears. So what I have done, I have already done the same thing with a better format so that it is better visible when I uh, present it. So over here, you can see whatever data is over here on the top, it has been summarized in words. You may think, you may have thought that I have probably written this down initially for better understanding, but no, this was generated automatically by Power BI. And another beauty to this is, this is not fixed. Anytime you make changes in the data, this is going to update and you can just use that data to do your pre further presentation. Not just changes in the base data, you can also apply filter onto this Power BI presentation itself. Now, for example, in this particular sheet, I have country-wise, product-wise, month-wise, but I don't, but I'm seeing this on an overall basis. What if I want to analyze one specific thing? Let's say I want to analyze the data for USA. So as soon as I click on this, you can see everything in the sheet is changing. You can see this product wise sales is updated, month wise is updated, and you can also see that the numbers below have updated. They are not the same that it was before. I can similarly apply this for a product. Maybe I'll just click, you can see the changes everywhere in the file now. So I'm just clicking and you can see here also, you can see it is loading and it has updated in maybe a second's time. So this is not just a pictorial representation love like how we do in PPT wherein you know it is stagnant. Here you can just make the changes. You can immediately get the data and this is just the basic data. You can customize it as per your requirement, add more fields to it and make it more usable for your day-to-day -day requirement. Uh, now, when I do something like this, I'm sure many of you must be thinking, Array, are this Power BI is for all those people who do high level financial analysis or part of very big companies. Also, if I want to do this, even with my simple data, I need to first learn Power BI. I need to learn how to put data into it, how to get all these charts and colorful things, and only then I will get this. That is a wrong perception. There is another option in Power BI, which does not require you to know all these technicalities. It is just a very simple thing, which is available right next to this smart narrative option. And it is called Q&A. And as the name suggests, it is nothing but a simple Q&A. I ask question to Power BI and it replies me. So I've just clicked on it and let's just wait for it to load. Yeah. So here you see, this has come. This also can be customized and made look beautiful as per our requirement. I'm just keeping it as it is for time being. And I have just pre-drafted some questions for our easy reference. So I'm just asking it, what is your product with highest sale in March 23? So it is saying coffee. What if I want to cross verify it? What if I want to really know if coffee is the one? So I can just go to this place. You can see here, I hope it is visible that coffee is in blue color. And I can also see if I just put my cursor here, coffee has contributed 7.88% of the sale. And all these other things are in the descending order. So you can see all the other things are going lower, meaning coffee is the highest contributor. And what language I have used? Very simple. I don't have to write anything more or anything technical. I'm just simply asking, what is the product with the highest sale in March? I don't even have to mention anything more. The very simple things that we need to uh, remember while drafting question is the Power BI understands only these headings. 
Now, for example, I have order ID. If instead of order ID, if I want to call it order number, it is not going to understand because according to it in this particular table, it is called order ID. So or if this is called product and not some item or anything like that. So I need to use the same terminology when I'm drafting the question. That is the only thing I need to keep in mind. Maybe I can ask some other question and see if it is answering. So you can see I'm asking which is the lowest sale or which product has the lowest sale and it is quickly able to answer me. Similarly, maybe I can just um, ask something a little different. So it says month with uh, least sale in the product coffee. So it says uh, this is the value and this is the month. It's giving me all the details. So this makes my life very simple and I just need to uh, draft the question just in the right way and have the data uploaded in the right way. I don't even need to do all of these things. Now, it may seem like, you know, this is probably used only by people who have a lot of data, who have a lot of analysis. What am I going to do? I am just a CA in practice or I am just having a startup. That is a wrong notion about Power BI. Power BI can be used in many situations. It can be anybody and in any kind of activities we can use. So just to illustrate that, I'll just show you Thank another you. example. Two yeah. minutes remaining. Sure. So I'll show you another example wherein I have this data. Let's assume this is a CA firm who are having this uh, client related sales and they've just categorized their uh, customer based on uh, the turnover that they are giving. So I have created this, uploaded this into another uh, Power BI. I did nothing. I just selected this Excel workbook option and selected, uh, uploaded this data, selected the file and uploaded. Let me ask a simple question to it. If there is any client with total value more than 50 lakhs and I have categorized it as medium because according to me, a medium customer is someone who is less than 50 lakhs and more than 50 lakhs is large. This is just my internal classification to understand how much importance I need to give to each client. So it says there is one client who is categorized as medium but has a turnover more than or say revenue contribution more than 50 lakhs. I can just re-verify this in the pivot I have put for easy, easy reference and it does say 52 lakhs. So how does this help me? So when a partner of a firm analyzes data like this without knowing Power BI, simply puts the Q&A option, put this, he is able to know what kind of preparedness he, he should have for the client. He can devote more resources to this or maybe he has to give more attention to this particular client, understand what is this new business that is coming and he can have all kind of preparedness. Usually we may just go and ask the accountant, why did you not intimate me that there is so much sales to this particular customer or client and I should have been more prepared. All those kind of things can be avoided if we simply use this Q&A option in Power BI. And this Power BI, even if you're not someone into business, you can use it even in your own personal finance. Just upload your bank statement in the right format and ask Power BI, tell me where did I spend more during the month? Which particular shop did I spend more? Did I do more of shopping on clothes or eating? And it's going to give you the answer and you can always plan your personal expenses as well. So this was awesome. my illustration. Thank you so much. Uh, Gayatri, let's applaud you for the beautiful presentation on the Power BI. It was a sharp, it was a crisp, and it was to the point. You have used the capabilities of Power BI and very effectively you have given the analysis how to use the smart narrative then Q&A options in the Power BI and you made it a simple dashboard analysis and how a CA can use it. So thanks uh, uh, Gayatri for your uh, use case. And uh, it was uh, nice to see the presentation. So thank you. Thank you.